Hello, Patricia, Marco, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I am fine. I am waiting for this class. Hey. <laughs> I'm okay. fine for this class. <laughs> hey, I'm glad, I'm glad. Hey, I, see Marco, I see Marco was relaxing, taking a nap. <laughs> yes. And just recently arrived to my home, coming from a, a very hard work day today. So we are we are taking some some courses out of the city in the in the Apaneca, Apaneca uh, city. Mm -hmm. It's in uh, Las Flores Ruta, Ruta, Ruta de las Flores. So we have a a, a group of about uh, uh, forty persons. We are we are trying that that persons uh, get some some uh, some recommendations how to to how to reaction in case of emergency situation of emergency, but uh, focus on children. Okay. Um, uh, trying to to defend the children's right, so that's we are making and we are having from from uh, a very hard days from last week. So that's that's this that's the reason because I couldn't be in class uh, yesterday, teacher. So I want to apologize, and but but here here I am and ready to continue. Excellent. Well, I'm glad that you are back. And it's okay. That's part of the life, right? The balance. Sometimes yeah. work, sometimes personal things. Hmm. I understand. No problem. Okay, but it's you. glad I'm glad that you are here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Me too. And Javier, how are you? Hey, hello. <laughs> How are you, Javier? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can hear you. I'm sorry. I was I was searching for <clears throat> for a, uh, for the apples. Oh, Airport. okay. Because we have a lot of noise in in the house, and I don't know if that's gonna inter in, interference interfere in the, in, interfere in my class. Okay. But I think it's all right. Yeah. How are you? I'm doing good. I don't know, Marco, Patricia, everything you hear, Javier, normal? It sounds okay? Yes, I am here. Yeah, it's no problem, Javier. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> all right. Well, as we can see, I'm glad that you're here. It is just about time. I know our partners are almost here. They're going to connect in just a moment. Um, the first thing I'd like you to do is to, to tell me a little bit about how do you feel so far? Are there any parts that are giving you difficulties? Any questions from the platform? Um, or is everything okay? Hey, Nicole. Hello, good evening. Good evening. So we were just talking about if you had any questions, if everything was okay from the platform, or if there was any problems. Uh, for me, everything's okay. Thank you. Okay. In the platform, you are up to unit three. No problem? Yeah. Yeah? No problems. Yeah. Okay. Good. Javier, Marco, Patricia, everything is okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah we are okay. I'm okay, teacher. Okay. I'm okay, too. Then let's do it. We're going to begin by reading a little article, um, A Tale of Two Cities. This is 3.9 in the platform, <clears throat> if you want to join. So we're going to begin. Patricia is going to be reading the first paragraph, and then Marco the second, <laughs> Javier, um, Nicole, and then we just continue with Evelyn and the other people that they come in. Okay. <clears throat> okay, teacher. All right. May I start? Please. 
Okay. Sydney has its opera house and harbor. Melbourne has quaint old buildings and parks. Sydney has spectacular beaches, but Melbourne's are less crowded. Up to Melbourne, Melbourneans, and they all say their city is best. Talk to Sydney, Sydney cedars, and they all say Sydney is the number one place to live. Good, thank you. Okay. You're now, welcome. Mm -hmm. According to many Melbourne, Melbourneans, inhabitants live a life of ideas, discussion, and debate. People are active in the arts and live well. Then again, that's what Sydney's ciders say should their city too. Okay. About their city too. Mm -hmm. Talk to Melbournians and they'll tell you their city has friendlier and more outgoing. People than Sydney, most Sydney siders won't disagree about their cities being less friendly. Nevertheless, they'll be quick to tell you what is a dynamic. Dynamic. Dynamic, sorry. Dynamic. Dynamic. Mm -hmm. World class city with tons of things to do and see. Sydney siders said they are always busy enjoying all they all that their city offers, such as the crashing surf at, at Bundy. Mm -hmm. Continue right here, Bront. Bront or manly beaches, brush walks through the Sydney Harbour National Park, or bro or browsing in Paddington, colorful weekend market. Thank you. You're welcome. Is it my turn? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. All right. People in downtown Sydney are always on the move, rushing to make contacts, cutting deals, and gaining influence. In Melbourne, in and out is a pastime, and the and the pace of life is slower and easier. Melbourne may not have the great surfing of Sydney, the beautiful Darling Harbour, or the Opera House. Instead, it's low key and savvy. You have to dig a little to get under its surface, but once there, you'll find a perfect example of a chic ultra modern city. Okay. And who's going to go next? I think it was Evelyn, right? Yeah. Uh, Sydney looks internationally for inspiration, but Melbourne tends to look region, uh, regionally. Uh, to Japan, for example, in a word, if you were to compare them to American cities, Sydney would be sunny, Los Angeles, and Melbourne would be charming New York. Okay, good. Any words, any questions about the vocabulary or things from here? What is the meaning for bush, uh, bush walks? Bush walks yeah, is like when the people uh, go to the park, but in in there they don't have books. They don't have uh, the idea of parks. They have um, a big area, like almost like a farm, but like you see in the movies where it's a lot of open space and trees, almost like a forest. Okay, yeah, because I know the meaning of the bush, but the uh, uh, bush was combined. I didn't have any idea about the meaning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Any other words? What Paddington's mean? Is the name? It is is a play. A place? Yes. Yes, that's why it's capital letter. Yes, I thought. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, mm -hmm. in the third paragraph, uh, uh, there, there is the word tongues. Mm. With tongues of things to do and see. Ah, yes. Is with many things to see and tons is a, a large amount, like a car. A car is a ton. Uh, okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other words? No, we're okay. Yes, teacher. Crash. Oh, yes. Crashing. And what is the next word? Um, in the third paragraph, uh, on the end of the paragraph. Crashing surf. So crashing. Crashing surf. surf. Yes. Mm -hmm. So crashing surf is like in. Um, el tunco, the surf, the waves, they crash with the rocks. Oh, uh, okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, so now that we have all of those words and the phrases, it's clear, right? Or did you want to check? Yes. Okay. So now what are we going to do? We're going to answer these four questions together. So here, true or false? Number one. It's true. True. Okay. Number two. False. False. Number three. False. False. Mm -hmm. And number four. True. Okay. Okay, uh -huh. we'll try it one more time. Don't worry, here. Okay, so number one is true. We had it, number two was false. Number three, the same that we said false. And number four was true, okay. Great job, as excellent. We see that we are comparing a couple of cities. Um, now we're just going to watch a little bit of the video from yesterday to help us before our next activity. To help us remember, because today we want to use many adjectives when describing. Red, a sleeping bag. Old, green. Let's continue talking about places. I think Antigua Guatemala is a pintoresque, a small old town with an incredible history. Order of modifiers. We will begin this lesson by reminding you about adjectives. What are adjectives? Adjectives are words that describe or tell about nouns or pronouns. They make sentences more interesting. They give details that make your meaning clearer. They tell what kind or how many. Now, when two or more adjectives modify a noun, they must follow a particular order. Adjectives or modifiers follow this particular order. Opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, purpose, and the noun. Let's talk about each one. Opinion. An opinion adjective explains what you think about something. 
often people may not agree with you. Examples, silly, beautiful, horrible, difficult. Size. A size adjective, of course, tells you how big or small something is. Examples, large, tiny, enormous, little. Age. An age adjective tells us how young or old something or someone is. Examples, ancient, new, young, old. Shape. A shape adjective describes the shape of something. Examples, square, round, flat, rectangular. A color adjective, of course, describes the color of something. Examples, blue, pink, reddish, gray. Origin. An origin adjective describes where something comes from. Example, French, lunar, American, Eastern, Greek. Material. A material adjective describes what something is made from. Examples, wooden, metal, cotton, paper. Purpose. A purpose adjective describes what something is used for. These adjectives often end up with ing. Examples, a sleeping, as in sleeping bag. Roasting, as in roasting tin. And then the noun. The noun, the figure that is receiving the adjectives. Now, take a look at some examples of sentences using adjective order. Silly young English man. Huge round metal bowl. Small red sleeping bag. Old green wicked witch. Now that you know about modifying, try to write a couple of sentences using as many as possible. Then share them with your class. Okay. So let's take a look. Okay. We're going to. Today, we're gonna to go into our groups and we're gonna start off with different activities. The idea is to use adjectives. The best way or one of the great ways to use adjectives is by trying to sell a product. Tell us to describe something. So when we have something such as an example, um, you want to sell shoes, a purse, a cell phone, uh, different things. This is the important that we're gonna practice right now. So with your partners, we're going to have different topics. Okay. Some of you, I'm going to each assign each of you at one of the categories, and you can sell something in the category. As an example, I will sell, I will tell Patricia, Patricia, your category is electronics. Patricia has to sell something with electronics. Nicole, your category is clothing. Nicole has to sell with clothing, right? Wendy, your category is going to be a vehicle. She has to send something with transportation, okay? Things. Or you can decide what you want to sell. You tell me, what do you think is easier for you? I give you the topic or you decide a product or something. Think about like an invention. You want to describe it to the person. The person has never seen it. They only hear you. So what are you going to say to them? So which one? I tell you the product or you choose which one to describe and to sell to us. Um, uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, for example, I would like to talk about the uh, library and products. Okay like uh, books or pencil or, or uh, um, papers, different kind of papers. Okay. Remember, the idea is to use several adjectives. Describe yeah. the paper, describe the color, the different things. No problem. Okay. So Marco has his topic. Okay. Office supplies. The name, Marco? Office oh, supplies. supplies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me, tell me, tell me before you go to the group. What is your topic? 
I'm okay with transportation. Okay, Wendy's got transportation. Let's go. Yeah. Marco, Wendy, what else? I would like to talk about um, uh, high tech or products or a computer or a cell phone, maybe. Okay. So, yeah, Evelyn's got cell phones. All right. What else? Uh, I would like to 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 try to tell about the hospital. Okay, describe the hospital. No problem, Patrick. Go ahead. We still got Nicole, Javier, Ana, Dennis, Carlos, George, Rafa. I prefer to talk about clothing. Clothing. All right. Javier's got clothing. I will sell PlayStation Five. <laughs> All right. So a game system. Game systems, all right? Yes. Mm -hmm. What else, what else, what else? I would like to, to talk about uh, food. Okay, so Selena's got food. I would like to talk about cars. About cars, okay. There is a lot. So Wendy's also got transportation. Rafa, no problem. I really don't have any idea about it. If you want me, you can choose the topic for me. Okay, Nicole, great. And your case, let's talk about, um, in your case, let's think just for a moment, one more for George, and then we, we have it. Give me a second. What would be a good topic for you? George? Okay, I think George is having a little bit of problems. What was that teacher? So what's your topic, George? Sorry, I, did, I didn't hear you. What's your topic? Sorry, teacher. Can you please repeat it? George, what is your topic? Teacher, I wasn't able to join the meeting yesterday. I mean, to be paying attention, so I didn't know what's the activity for today. Can you please let me know? George, in this moment, I think you're not paying attention. In this moment, we were just talking about it, George. Are you able to listen or is too much background noise? Now I can listen to you. Okay. So George, everyone already selected in this moment, the topic that they're going to talk about using adjectives. Would you like a specific topic, George? Uh, I would like about sports. Okay, so George, that's fine. But with sports, Nicole, do you like, um, do you like food? Do you like cooking? Mm, I don't cook actually. <laughs> okay, so what do you do? What's your hobby? Uh -huh. That's a really good question. Nicole, what about makeup? I hear I hear you like makeup. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's what I heard. That's what they say. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, so what are we gonna do? We have our topics and the ideas. So I don't know anything about makeup or about cars, but I'm gonna try it or computers, whatever the topic is. You choose any topic and you explain to us. Well, guys, today I'm going to discuss a, here, I'll take this. Mm. I'm gonna discuss this cloth. This is a, uh, a beautiful beige cloth that's soft to the touch, which can have many multiple functions. Uh, many people use it to clean their cameras on their computers, as well as their cell phones. One of the great products, that's the idea. Join your partners, think about the product, describe it. Describe it's how it feels, how it looks, the colors. Describes its uses, its functions. The idea is describe, describe, describe. Use as many words as you can to talk about the product, about the functions of the product, about the usage, and your opinion on it. Yes? Okay. Okay. I'll give you a few moments with your partners, and let's do it.
Hey, Nicole, are you ready? I guess I'm ready. I just shut down. Um, my computer shut down, sorry. And um, I, yeah, well, if you want, I can stay here. I already talk about makeup. All right. I think everybody's just about ready. It shouldn't be too long. It's just to give you an idea, get yourselves a little preparation, and then to use the descriptions. So you like makeup, huh? Yeah, I do. I mean, I do like it. I actually wear it uh, almost every day, I guess. Not not on weekends when I don't go out. I don't wear it, but I do like it. What about, um, do you create videos about makeup or anything like that? No, I don't. It's just for my daily usage. I don't do videos or something. I guess like I'm not the that creative maybe i i'm just learning like on how to use it yeah okay so what do you mean you're just learning um like you know there's a lot of things like when you do your eyeshadow you can use so many colors and i just try to like follow some videos i see but not not always is that as good as I would like to, but you know, I'm learning. I, I can do my eyeliner, I can do it. I don't know why, but it's just not for me. So I'm still practicing it. Okay, okay. Well, it's okay. I can't do makeup, so it's no problem too. <laughs> All right, so um, we're gonna begin. Nicole is ready. Nicole is ready to give us her presentation on a makeup. Oh my God. <laughs> well, okay, so as I was saying, I like to do makeup. I wear it almost every day, but just for, I don't wear it when, on weekends when I don't go out. I think for me, makeup makes me feel a little bit prettier. I don't know. It helps me to feel a little bit more confident, you know. And well, you can use so many products on your face that is like crazy. You can use foundation that is like a cream that goes there all over your face. You can use concealer that goes that conceals like uh, any pimple or any dark spot you have on your face. Then you can use as well blush that is for the cheeks, so you can have like a 
pinkish reddish color on there and you can makeup my favorite makeup product or brand both all right <laughs> i'm it's very difficult but i guess one of my favorite products is lip gloss i rather do lip gloss than matte lipsticks because i get it it looks better on me i really like um also blush that i guess it makes me feel it makes me look alive maybe <laughs> um i in regards to brands i like um, elf because it's like cheap and it has good makeup too i like um, what else what else i do i i, I use mac concealer and powder and i do like them really well because they have like a good finish touch for your face um well what else and i like eyeshadow too because when i do my makeup i like to do my eyes because if i don't do my eyes i don't like the way it looks mm. okay i i like that you're talking to us especially with a lot of the men, like we understand what you're talking about, but it's great, but I love it. I love it. Like you are just like, well, everybody understands all the girls. I see all the women. They're like, oh yeah, the blood. And you see the men like, I have, I don't know what she's talking. It's like, it's like, it's, it's science, it's, uh, it's rocket science, but I, I have an idea. I know, at least I understood the eyes and the others. I try to explain a little bit of, about the product so you can at least know where it goes. <laughs> exactly. And that's what I love it. That's the best way to use the description because just like in technical support or anywhere, you, you have to describe it the easy way for the people to understand it. And I was perfectly happy because I understood exactly what you're talking about. I, I understood about the lips and about the eyes and also the foundation. So great. Thank you so much. Nicole, thank you. And select who's next. Who's going to be our next volunteer? All right. Let me see. I must say Evelyn. Evelyn, great. She wanted to be next anyways. All right. Okay. Okay, today um, I would like to talk about uh, cell phones. I think nowadays cell phones are a really useful tool uh, to do a lot of different things. For example, uh, one thing that I like about cell phones is that I can use them uh, as a computer because it has a lot of... Uh, awesome functions like for example you can not only make phone calls or send a message but uh you can install uh apps like uh, for example facebook you can access uh, facebook through a computer but you can uh, access on your cell phone and also uh, if you visit uh, an amazing place and you want to uh, uh to take a, a photo for example you can uh, take out your cell phone and take a, a, a really an amazing picture or also you can uh, uh, record a video. And uh, I think that also, uh, I think cell phones are really useful because and, and now I can use it for taking, uh, for taking English class. For example, when my computer is not working properly, well, I just change into my cell phone and I can take my class. So I can miss my class, um, what else? And uh, um, uh, uh, mm, uh, how can I say uh, the brand that I like, uh, for example, for example, is Huawei, because I love that the the battery is long last. Because I uh, I bought a, a cell phone and the battery is is still function even though my cell phone ha uh, has a. Uh, five years and it's still working properly. That's why I love that uh, that company, I think. Um, and I find that cell phones nowadays, it's really a, a way to be connected with other people, so not only in El Salvador or your community, but also around the world because I can use it to make friends when I, uh, with a person that is living outside the country. And also, I uh, I consider that uh, 
even though uh, sometimes technology uh, doesn't love me, but I love technology. <laughs> okay, Evelyn, great. Uh, you know, it's great. Everybody has different reasons for their cell phones that they like or they don't like. Great job telling us why specifically is the best function for your cell phone and you enjoy it. All right, who's next? Who's next, Evelyn? Mm, okay, I uh, let me choose. Uh, Dennis. <laughs> Dennis, all right, let's do it, Dennis. Okay, thank you, Evelyn. Um, well, I'm gonna talk about computers. Um, well, I think that computers are very important almost for everyone. You know, people use computers to study, work, and sometimes uh, it is just for fun. So it's very important to, to choose a computer that is gonna work for you. For example, if you're gonna work, uh, you're gonna, you gonna choose a computer with a specific features. So it's very important that we know what kind of computer we are gonna purchase before to do it. So if we're gonna use it to work, and we are gonna, we need to think what kind of work we are gonna do. So for example, if we are gonna use different programs like maybe the people that study or work uh, architecture, so they are gonna need to choose a computer that work with AutoCAD, for example, which is a program that architect use. So that needs to be a computer with, with a RAM, with a really good RAM. RAM is like the brain of the computer and it needs to be a really good RAM. Or actually the CPU and the RAM are the brain of the computer. So if you are gonna work with programs like AutoCAD, so you need to choose a computer that has a really good RAM. Or you are gonna use a computer just to study. Um, you may use a, an average computer, so it, it doesn't need to be powerful, a powerful computer. And if you're gonna use the computer for video games, so that's more, more important that you choose a computer that has a really good RAM and a really good CPU, which is the, the brain, as I mentioned before. So there are different manufacturers that are that sell this kind of this kind of part of the computer. So you may find the most important or the one that currently sell the most are um, Intel and Razor. So uh, in my personal opinion, Intel is, is better. So actually I do have a Intel and I think that is the best, but other people rather um, Razor. So that's, that's good, but as I said, in my personal opinion, Intel is, is the best. So other, other parts of the computer that you need to think about it is the monitor. So if you are gonna use the computer for video games, it's better that you choose a, a bigger monitor like 24 inches is the average and the one that people prefer. But if you are gonna use it uh, for work, maybe 21 inches is gonna be good. But if you work with a lot of different things at the same time and you have meetings and stuff like that, maybe you are gonna need two monitors. And if you are gonna use the computer for um, to study for your homework and stuff like that, maybe a laptop is gonna be good because you, you may take the laptop wherever you want, wherever you go. Uh, but something very important, if you choose a laptop, and that's something that I would like to recommend is that you may purchase a fan because if you work with the, with a the laptop for a long time, it is gonna be hot and maybe it is not gonna work properly. And the life of the computer of the laptop is not, is not gonna be too long. So maybe if you purchase a fan, it's gonna be better for your computer. And well, that's it. Very nice, well detailed, uh, very long explanation, great. I love how you corrected only, you spoke in Spanish and then you just continued. I, I like that you saw it, it's good. I look at the faces of everybody else and nobody nobody, nobody identified because everybody speaks Spanish. So it's, yeah, okay, and continue. And they didn't notice, but it's very good. Mm -hmm. 
All right, but I like Dennis because I saw that in the next time that you say the same vocabulary, you were, oh, yes, like I, you said it correctly. I said, ah, Dennis identified the mistake. Great job, Dennis. All right, who's next, Dennis? Who's next? I think that Anna went, went to participate. Oh, Anna, Anna, yes, of course. Anna doesn't want to go home without participating. Yes. Thank you, Dennis. <laughs> Welcome. Okay. Uh, well, I changed my mind. I was going to talk about hair products, but I didn't know what to say. So I'm going to talk about books. Uh, like, uh, well, books, we all know what they are, right? Uh, basically, they are a form of entertainment, I would say. But they're also educational because you don't only read novels or like, uh, fiction stories or nonfiction. You also read, you know, biographies about people that are like uh, important that they have done important things in the world, or you know, uh, famous people, celebrities, etc. So I actually like to read a lot because the books are so like exciting, uh, and you learn new things too, um, things you didn't even know you you didn't know i mean you didn't know you didn't know and now you know them and probably you're not going to use that knowledge very much but it's interesting they're very interesting and they like transport you to a different reality uh so books can also be very inspirational um they're easy to grab and sometimes you can get them for free nowadays you can get a lot of books for free um you can download them onto your cell phone so that's another, you know, uh, advantage of having books uh, in existence. Um, books also help you, you know, uh, not only learn new things, uh, also learn new words, uh, expand your vocabulary. Uh, in the long run, supposedly, they said it helps you improve your memory. I have no proof of that. I have very bad memory and I like to read a lot. So maybe later on, I guess I'll, I'm gonna see the rewards. And um, what else, what else, what else? Well, um, they also help uh, you build like creativity, I would say. And uh, to actually like use your imagination for a lot of scenarios. And uh, I don't know, just imagine the different characters if you're reading like a fiction novel, for example. And so there's like a lot of benefits of books um, because they help you stay focused. Like for example, when you're reading, you have to be more focused than when you're watching TV or you're watching your cell phone. When you're watching your cell phone, you can be doing like a, like a lot of things, which for your brain, it's like having a lot of tabs open. So, you know, people are always saying we should multitask but it's not always great for your brain because your brain should only be doing like one main thing at a time. Otherwise we get tired, but nowadays like doing a lot of things is like the, the great thing, but um, for your brain, it's, it's not like that. It's like having a lot of tabs open on your computer and it slows down your computer. So the same thing happens in your brain uh, when you do a lot of things at a time. And I, I think I'm no longer talking about books, but that's it, you guys. <laughs> Great, great. I did leave some comments for you in the chat, uh, but great. Thank you so much, Anna. I really appreciate it. Um, Anna, who is the next person? Who is the next? Okay, I'll pick. All right. Sorry. Um, uh, you go ahead, Anna. I'm sorry, I was looking for the like the website where you can find them uh, for free. Uh, Javier. Javier, all right, let's do it, Javier. I don't know, but I had a feeling. And as I said, she, she's gonna pick me. You were right. <laughs> okay, um, the topic that I want to talk is clothes. Especially when I'm talking about the way I, I, I wear, I, I wear Clothes, different kind of clothes. And when I'm, I mean, when I'm in home, I really want to feel the most comfortably that that could be possible. And my size is medium, but I usually use a large because I really love to to feel very comfortable in home. Maybe not in home, even when I'm 
I go to walk or when I want when I go to play basketball, I really love to use my sneakers, uh, a big a big shirt and a short. And um, but when when in my job I have usually to to I have trainings. So it, that way is different. When I went to my trainings, I use my uh, polished shoes and my long lips, my long sleeves shirts. So uh, it's different. But now uh, it's very, very easily to to buy different kind of clothes and really good clothes. Uh, I went to to buy uh, in the use. Uh, premium center, <laughs> so I think every world do this and this time, and I really love to 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 wear good clothes and I think you can you can see you can look very pretty using something that is not new or fancy. That's it. All right, Javier, thank you so much. Great. Okay. Uh, Thrift shops, exactly. Thank you, Anna, for putting it in. That's what it is. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The, the, the word, the correct word for the used store, uh, this is in Spanish. The used stores are called in Spanish, but in English, they are called thrift shops. New it's vocabulary. In the chat. There you go. Very good. All Thank right. you so much. You're welcome. Yes, it's very popular. It's very popular in most countries. Uh, to have they have they even have um, thrift shops for books which I think is a great idea um, yeah so, mm -hmm. all right Javier who's next who's next uh, let me see Rafael Dabu Rafael all right he's very quiet okay I'm going to the cars 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 are one of the most important means of tra transportation um, in the history. I really like sports cars and old cars. Uh, the cars was patented by Cars Benz on January on 1886. I, I have a beautiful Volkswagen Beetles 1972. I bought it two, uh, 12 years ago for restore it. It's orange. It has the original color. It is a German version. The, the tapestry, tapestry is clear. I have it as original. It's like this. I'm, I I will send you by WhatsApp the photo. That's all. So it's not orange like Fovial. Um, so, so. <laughs> oh, so I thought, I, uh, when you said orange, I thought, hey, Fovial, the color for Fovial. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you, Rafa. Great. Okay. Who, who's next, Rafa? Thank you so much. Uh, let me see. We have Marco. 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 Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. We have Marco. Marco, it is. I, I'm sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I have here all the topics my partners have to, have talked us about, and all of them all of them are very interesting. So, but I cannot I can I can look in all the the conversation that. Uh, they they were talking about the technology, how the human technology have have been improved uh, for the last 20, 20, for the last fifty years. You know the the world has changed, and and even the technology has uh, changed, and now we depend. Most from the technology, computers, cell phones, cars, uh, even 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 though we we still continue using 
some traditional methods to communicate with other person and in and, and using some kind of products that we use every day in our home, in our account, in our works, and in the, in, at the school, in different, in different places, in different activities. And that's what I'm going to talk about the office supplies. The office supplies are a kind of product that we use every day to, for example, to write something we use, uh, uh, a piece of paper or a pencil or a pen. And we write, we write something. We, we not only use the technology to write something, but we use the, the some, 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 some kind of paper. And if we want to give someone a gift because a special occasion, uh, like a birthday celebration, uh, we use uh, envelopes, you know, uh, tape. Uh, that's that's a, that those all of that the that that products are uh, office supplies, and and the other thing I want to say is that uh, even we read. Uh, uh, a lot in our cell phones or our computers. There, there are something that we we enjoy doing is reading a book, but a real book, not a not a not, not a, a virtual book or I don't know how to say it, uh, uh, but a real book with made of papers and and taking page by page. You are reading and you and you introducing the in the situation that book is, is, is talking about. And you transport for the, some sense, some, some places, uh, sometimes to, to the future or to the past, you can, you can, you can uh, go through the, through the time reading a, a, very, a very nice book. And you, when you have the book in your hands, you feel something different that, that, that if you are reading in 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 the computer or in your cell phone, so oh, the uh, I am the owner of so office supplier business, <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about and telling my experience about that products and about to have books that we can give or we can. Uh, in in my case, I I I uh, I sell of the products and I feel so good when people. Uh, arise to my to my little little uh, uh, business and and buy and buy some some products of those and or or take a book and I feel so good of that and that's my 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 topic about thank you teacher <laughs> thank you Marco so I I put in the chat so you don't like ebooks I understand but now I understand why. Because hey, it's not your business. <laughs> if ebooks is your business, hey, I like ebooks. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay, all right. Well, uh, Anna shared in the group for the people that like um, uh, the link to read books. That way, it helps anybody that likes to read books also. Good, Marco. Who's the next person? Oh, let me see. Uh, Selena, it's your turn. All right. Okay, I like to talk about the food. Um, I don't, I don't know several kinds of food, but I know the Chinese food, Mexican food, Italian food, and traditional food. But all those uh, kinds of food, I like it, but. I like more um, Chinese food, and but prefer a dessert. There are so many desserts, uh, and the dessert that I like is with chocolate. There are so many kinds kinds of chocolate: chocolate with nut, chocolate with peanut, chocolate with milk. 
but I prefer the chocolate with nut. That's, I like it. But the other kind of, of dessert um, is um, cake. I love the, the carrot cake. Uh, it it's have a, a cream over the bread and the bread is delicious with, with carrot. And I like so so <laughs> so much. <laughs> it's my preferred dessert. But uh, that there are uh, other dessert is um, uh, with milk. Uh, the milk sometimes is liquid, but sometimes is um, I don't know hard. <laughs> it, it, it's it, with cream. But but the, that dessert is so so fast to 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 uh, uh, I don't know the word, but but the milk is is so dangerous to eat and um, bad 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 dessert because you can to sick <laughs> your stomach and take care. Uh, to, to eat that, that kind of dessert. And, and there are, uh, I like to cook him, but I can to cook uh, traditional food. I, I can to cook uh, a other kinds of food because it's so difficult. <laughs> and uh, there are use so many ingredients and I can't. I, I can to cook this like, but the traditional food, I like the pupusas <laughs> and I like um, to uh, choco <laughs> and uh, that's all, but, but uh, the traditional food is, is good. Um, oh, uh, is the uh, tamal corn, I don't know. <laughs> Bueno, tamal de lote, <laughs> I like too. But is all the kind of food, there are so many colors. There are um, food and that uh, are several colors, um, green, orange, and all the colors. It's, it's for that that I like the food. And I don't, only that I, Talk about the food. I especially there are desserts. so many. Yeah, yeah. the dessert. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Dennis and I, we have we have the same dessert. Is oh really? The, yes, yes, yes. Dennis and I, we we really like brownies. Mm -hmm. Oh, brownies! Brownie, that's good. I yeah. like too. Yes, and Anna, Anna is the favorite dessert. Is the same as you. Uh huh. Her character really. Yes, it's in the chat. It's in the chat. That's how we were. Oh, looking at I, it. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't read that. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. but the, the brown, the brownie is so sweet. Yeah. 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 Okay. One more. We have time for one more, Selena. Who is the last person? Who is the last person? I don't know. Oh, Patricia. Here is. Oh. <laughs> okay, Patricia. Okay, thank you. I I try to to explain about the hospital. Well, the hospital is, is a big built, big, all big built, that many workers are working in there. Uh, the doctors, the nurses, the secretaries, receptionists. And in the hospital, uh, there are many, many rooms, like the uh, emergency rooms, uh, operating rooms, recuperation rooms. In that, in that rooms, there are many different uh, activities. Uh, uh, sorry? Many different activities and uh, we, we work like a, like a team and uh, um, all of the workers uh, make a different uh, uh, responsibility. Uh, 
uh, also in the hospital, there are many rooms. Uh, in the rooms, uh, uh, mm, stay some patients uh, who, who stay searching for a better health. Um, in that rooms, there are some um, typical for me to um, like uh, or rooms like a bed, a chair, a light, a conditioner air, um, and a table. And um, we, like a doctors, uh, we have to to take care of the, all the patients uh, since uh, they come until they left the hospital. And uh, that is all. <laughs> okay, all right. Patty, I, I put in the chat, do you have a room to sleep? Yes, teacher, we have a medical, on, uh, a room only for medical with a, her bathroom, a, a small kitchen, mm -hmm. a microwave, a oven, a refrigerator, and uh, conditioner air. Um, yes, we have. We have one. Okay, good. I imagine because if you work at night or you work a long time, and with the pandemic, sometimes you work many, many hours. I think you need a room to relax. You need a room to, uh, for your to drink a coffee with no patient or a moment to eat something, relax, or just to take a nap mm -hmm. for a few moments. Uh, actually, uh, I don't work uh, at night at the hospital. I only work at. Uh, uh, six hours a day, and during the pandemic, I I conserve that that schedule. Uh, mm. I working in, in the same schedule um, because um, the the co-workers that make uh, the work at the night at night they are a special. Um, they have a special contract with the hospital, with the with uh -huh, with the hospital, and they have a uh, um, turn. <laughs> I don't know how to say uh, the workers at night. Um, I don't know how to say, it, but they work at night and they work at a day uh, after the after I working in, in at night. Uh, actually I have uh, I had to to work in that form but I I keep the the that work because um, when I open my clinic uh, I have to to be in my clinic so fresh and not sleepy. And I, I was really better in my clinic than in the hospital because in my clinic, I am the boss. <laughs> and in the hospital, I have a boss. And I have to, um, to follow some uh, rules, different rules and um, different problem uh, between the, the workers because we are uh, we are too much and uh, there are many different and some people like to um, to to be a problem uh, and uh, we have to be many many careful in that place Okay. Careful in all all time uh, or responsibility is uh, is hard is mm, very very hard and is uh, but it's beautiful my work. Okay, well guys, thank you so much for sharing. It, that means that today you should be complete with unit three. That means we are finished unit one, unit two, 
midterm and unit three. Tomorrow we begin unit four and we have four days to complete it, four classes. We have Wednesday, Thursday, and Monday and Tuesday next week. Next week, Tuesday is the last day, okay? So tomorrow we begin unit four. Okay. All right, okay, guys. Okay, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Good night. 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 Bye. 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 Bye.